Good evening, thank you for joining us on Nightly News. I'm Annie Ackerman. We begin tonight in Big Sur, California, where a wildfire broke out and among the many buildings destroyed was the home of a woman who's in charge of saving other people's property. Volunteer Fire Chief Martha Karsten lost her home and said the irony of the incident did not escape her. It's very personal and, and when you see on the news other homes burning down and other fires, you, you sympathize, but when it happens to you, I, it still has not sunk in. The fire has already chewed through 700 acres and has destroyed 17 homes. Firefighters believe the blaze broke out late last night on a hiking trail. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. A shooting took place on Tuesday afternoon at a medical facility in Reno, Nevada. Police say at least two are dead, including the gunmen, and two are injured. The incident occurred in the renowned regional medical center, where multiple shots were fired. Authorities say the gunmen opened fire on the third floor of the building, injuring several people before turning the gun on himself. No more information about the identity of the victims or motive of the gunman has been released. In Washington, one meeting with two different descriptions of the agenda took place. Some of the biggest names in the American tech industry went to the White House today for a meeting with the president. Marissa Meyer was there from Yahoo, so was Apple's Tim Cook and Sheryl Sandberg from Facebook. While the White House characterized the meeting as being primarily about the healthcare website, and it started out that way, much of the two-hour discussion centered on the topic of data mining. Just yesterday, a federal judge called the NSA phone surveillance program unconstitutional. And today, companies asked for new limits on what consumer information they must turn over to the government. There is now an answer to the frequently asked question, who is a good dog? The answer is Orlando, an 11-year-old black lab guide dog. Orlando's companion Cecil Williams is blind. Cecil fainted and fell onto the New York City subway tracks. Orlando was trained to keep him away from the edge and he barked and tried to hold him up before jumping down with Cecil, cowering between the tracks as a train rolled over both of them. Miraculously, they're both okay. Cecil credits Orlando with saving his life, but says his insurance money for a guide dog is about to run out and Orlando will be forced to retire in January. A survivor marathon runner from the Boston bombings has proposed to a nurse that he met while recovering. James Costello asked Krista de Agostino to marry him while they were on a cruise dedicated to the survivors of the devastating bombings that killed three and injured more than 270. Costello was at the finish line when the bombs exploded. He said he now knows why he was involved in the tragedy. It was to meet his best friend and now the love of his life. Of course, she said yes. What a great story. Thank you for tuning in to Nightly News. I'm Annie Ackerman. Good night.